Hello, my name is Kevin O'Connor, and this is my narrative on my writing roots project. Um, when I was in fourth and fifth grade, I was very lucky to have a teacher, Ms. Dermody, who was very inspirational when it came to literacy, not just writing. She always had books, and she was always giving the students free books, handing them out. And at the time, when you're a child, like, you don't understand that that's a big deal. Like, now as a teacher, I'm like, I don't know how she managed to get all the books that she did and just freely give them away. It truly was amazing. I still have so many of the books that she gave me. And so again, I was really lucky and this was kind of the peak moment in my development of understanding where I was as a writer and a reader. In fourth grade, she had given us The Printer, a book by Myron Olberg, and I remember her telling me that I was gonna read to the class. And she sat me down in her chair and I sat up there as a little fourth grader and I read the printer aloud to her, which there's newspaper clippings of it happening too because I had a little hat on and everything, very funny. After that, she had me write a letter, just me, to Myron Olberg um, about the printer. And I remember being so excited for it and None of the other students had to write a letter. They were doing something else. I wrote a letter, she revised it, and she helped me send it out to Myron Olberg. I then received a letter back from Myron Olberg and about the work that he was working on for um, Jackie Robinson, Dad Jackie and Me, his next book, and he ended up sending me an autographed copy of that. And I remember feeling so happy, extrinsically motivated, because there was a reward. There was something that I was gaining from writing, like writing served a purpose. And so to me, I made that first kind of connection where motivation is a big thing. And Miss Dermody really hit the spot both intrinsically and extrinsically. And that's covered in almost every text that I've read so far, not just like teach writing well, which it does cover. Like you have to want to make a student find their why. Like why are you going to write something? And that really associates with motivation. This is something that I've kind of always thought about as a teacher now, where I'm like, why are my students going to want to write? And it is kind of hard because I think my students have a lot going on in their own lives right now where motivation in school might be low, even though they're wonderful students, because they have so much going on at home. I didn't have the problems that my students face as English language learners that they have at home. I never had that. So it was easy for me to write letters and want to write letters because I didn't have to worry about anything. Um, moving forward a little bit, within that fourth grade year, we also had to write books. And Mr. Armady bought us all these blank books where we had to do a whole process of writing. And I remember my friends telling me, how much they hated it, but I loved it. And looking back at my book that I still have that I wrote, I could tell how much I loved writing it compared to some of my still best friends who were in that class. Miss Dermody knew how to teach writing, just like the writing revolution states. She went through the whole planning and revising um, templates and the process of becoming a strong writer. And that is hugely important. We need planning. We need revising. And I think we're kind of missing that right now. And I see some teachers doing it, but not the way that Miss Dermody explicitly taught it. She did such a fantastic job of showing us the process of, we need to make a rough draft. We need to make a draft after that where your peers are reading it and checking your work. And then you can do like a final copy and translate that into your book. We went through that tedious process and I think it made me a much better writer. And I think now as a teacher, I see that we are missing some of that explicit teaching where you can't get from A to C without doing steps B. And I, I see that we're missing steps B and Miss Dermody didn't necessarily miss that. So I felt really blessed to have Miss Dermody because she taught explicitly. Um, I think that's all I have time for because a little bit over four minutes, but I appreciate everyone who's listened to this and the reason why I love reading and writing.